Yeah! <laughs> right, good morning everybody. It is 6.30am, 1st of January 2017 at the time of filming. I've just come down here very early to get some shots. Very nice way to um, kick off the new year, of course. Um, do a bit of reflecting. I believe 10 years ago, a full 10 years, uh, we were in Omaha, I was with Josh and we were doing a completely different thing, we were doing what pretty much every typical 20 year old does and basically just getting hammered and being dicks and um, it's a part of my life that I'm not very proud of, this part of my life right now is definitely the most rewarding, the most enjoyable, um, giving me the most of basically anything and this is where I want to head in 2017 I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions as such because I sort of feel you should be trying to do better at everything all the time anyway um, last year was a massive massive year learning a lot of different skill sets obviously bringing spearfishing in was probably the big one to where we've um, we're doing quite well I feel like we're doing quite well on the water um, I definitely want to pursue for me myself with this here channel, I do of course obviously want to grow, I'm going to keep making vlogs, I'm going to keep making content, it is the focus for me in the new year. Um, whilst the, the, the interest in skimboarding isn't there, um, there's no progression in riding, things like that, I'm going to keep doing it of course, I'm going to keep making boards and I'm going to keep pursuing it because it is bloody good fun, as well as skimboarding, surfing is there as well, that's probably one of the big things that I really enjoy doing, really enjoy taking photos of. Um, spearfishing would be the third of course it's bloody good fun and a cheap way to get food um, and just the video and photography side of things so that's going to be my focus for 2017 I may be moving there is always a um, I'm basically kind of over my local area I'm over not having people to do things with um, of course most of the people I do things with aren't even from the area which is a damn bloody shame but um, I may look at a move this year so there could be some big changes ahead I'm going to head back now, I'm not going to go back to bed, probably go wake everyone up, I believe they're all leaving today, Mike and Jen and Josh, um, I'm probably going to stay up another day or two anyway and uh, get some more photos and things like that, but um, we'll head back now for Bricky. I think I have a bit of blood on my face, <laughs> I feel like a bit of a big disgrace, <laughs> filleting these kingfish all over the place. <laughs> just doesn't stop. We've got some big old fat fillets here to smoke. We've got the smoker over there. We've got these to get done as well. There's a flipping lot here. Oh, yeah. Alrighty ho, have just been having a little snooze. It is quarter to one, um, 1st of January. The plans were, um, as most of you should know, that I do photography for the New Zealand Thundercat Association. I thought my dates to get down Coromandel were this weekend coming. It's the first day I thought it was like the 7th and 8th or whatever um, to get to Matarangi. It's not. <laughs> I've just worked this out and established that I've got to be at Matarangi on the 3rd, which is less than 48 hours from now. That's about 10, 10 driving hours in total which means I'm going to be leaving here, I was kind of just going to mosey my way out of here and uh, whenever in the next few days the plans are now is that I'm going to have to leave um, tomorrow and basically get home which is four, at least four hours from here and then sort of tidy some stuff up, sort my gear out and then keep moving right down to Coromandel Matarangi which is quite a long way um, I think I've got a place to stay but we'll be spending a couple of days down there I'm actually trying to meet up with Brando Yalovich who's wild boy in New Zealand um, he's a, the young guy who he's just been, been around Stuart Island he's walked the whole circumference of New Zealand's coastline so the next few days are going to be hectic I have no idea how late this vlog is going to be when that's up because I can't edit it on the go but of course I am filming so um yeah bit of change of plans I feel like a flipping idiot but uh It'll be a busy next few days. Oh, Rara Creek's looking brown as usual, but she's looking pretty prime for a little skimmy, even though we're not here to skim. Oh, Highlight of the trip, Michael. Oh, mm, probably skim. Actually, got to skim Henderson. Yeah. What, low light? Huh? The low light? The low light. Uh, I fell asleep before 12. <laughs> too, too years in a row. Well, we all did. And that's what happens with old age. Pretty much in my soul back. Oh, of course, yeah. 
quite well. Josh, highlight? Ooh, I think probably the open water sparing would probably be the, the highlight. As for a low light, missing all them damn fish. <laughs> <laughs> Jen? Highlight was morning walks. Low mm. light, I don't have one. Ooh. Ooh, eh? Positive. Mm. Hey? Like it. We'll put you on a spear gun, that would have ruined your holiday. Yeah. <laughs> well, my highlight was probably the open water spearing. Low light was the jandal blowout in the first 20 minutes of being here. <laughs> I think. Damn, Bobby. Other idiots yeah. on the road. Yeah. Well, we got two of them here, so that's two down. <laughs> double, double shaka gang. Double shaka. <laughs> uh, one Dinner's up with the three amigos. Tonight we got some, what, what is it, wild pork from the first night or, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> we haven't got back to it. We've got some fish, we've got some salad, we've got some corn. This will be the last dinner in the north for me for, well, hopefully not too long. Perfection. Right, that is a wrap for what has been a pretty relaxing, pretty enjoyable first day of 2017. As mentioned earlier with this date mix up, the next um, few days is bloody hectic. I've got to basically travel a thousand kilometres um, in the next kind of... 36 or so hours so um she's going to be pretty full on the plans are in the morning i've got to go shoot some very good cape footage with the new drone i'm um, going to go super early get to cape rianga for um sunrise so we're going to be up at 4 30 or something mum's coming then i'm going to get home i'm going to come back here have bricky leave get back to omaha do some editing some of the vlogs that you of course already would have seen it's all going to be broken up um and then make my way down to matarangi for the thundercat racing anyway I'm Sam Price, I'll see you at the beach.